The fact that South Africa hasn't put the sort of capital investment mm. into uh, growth yep. capital yeah. of platinum mines, what sort of impact is that having now? I, I think it is true to say that the lack of capital um, investment in recent years is certainly going to uh, make it difficult for South Africa to grow its, its supply going forward, which is something we think it probably needs to do given this quite strong uh, prospects for demand. Is there any end user exasperation around South Africa not really being there to supply readily and having question marks put over itself? Yeah, I, I would say that there is some concern amongst um, particularly the automotive uh, industry, OEMs, that you know about security of supply in the long term. I mean, when you um, invent a new or when you design a new catalyst for a certain phase of legislation, it costs a lot of money to actually implement that catalyst change. It's not, it's not an industry that can change quickly in terms of its design of catalysts or its use of catalysts, certainly not. Um, and they do um, stress a little bit about the potential uh, security of supply. There is a certain amount of above ground stocks which are feeding in uh, to, to fill the gap. Um, that is finite, so um, that at some point will kick into a price increase. It's, it's, it's not that there's going to be a shortage of platinum, it's simply a question of price. And these exasperated people, I mean, they don't want higher prices. No. What is the danger of them looking for alternatives? The whole uh, engineering world is always looking for alternatives uh, for PGM because people don't like using them in the first place. They're pretty expensive metals. Um, but the reality is that um, they're also pretty damn good catalysts and, uh, you know, they're very, very difficult to replace. If in the end, you can't change chemistry, you can't change the periodic table and find new things with the activity of the PGMs. So whilst we would expect people to continue to thrift, PGM loadings and catalysts by be, being uh, better at putting coatings down, keeping the surface area as high as possible to maximise the catalytic activity. That will continue, but we would be uh, very surprised, I think, if uh, someone were to come along with, a, with an alternative material. Is the uncertainty from South Africa sort of stimulating the recycling activity? And the growth drivers in, 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 in the secondary supply industry are the fact that diesel vehicles are for the first time starting to enter the the, 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 the scrappage profile of vehicles that are being scrapped, so that's kicking the platinum uh, secondary material supply up quite strongly, double digit growth, percentage growth this year. Um, on the jewellery side, um, infrastructure has been developed in various places to different extents around the world. In, in, in Japan, there's already a very well established uh, infrastructure virtually on every road in the Ginza. You can take your platinum jewellery in and, and exchange it for yen. Um, and so that industry is very much price driven but not driven by any fear of um, you know, uh, not being able to supply platinum for primary consumption.